So what do you guys think of sponsorships being in the NBA? Because that is the rumor that sponsorships will become will be, become part of our uh, their jerseys. Hmm. Well, what, what, what sponsor would you like? It, it all it all depends, I guess, on the perspective that you're getting at consumer wise. If you're the one that's buying the jersey, obviously you're like, hey, I don't want nothing on my jersey besides the name of the player that I want, you know, that I want that I want on my jersey and the number. Right. That's as a consumer, if we're the ones that, you know, that that are consuming all these jersey and buying all these shirts and jerseys, why would we want anything else? So in, in the perspective of ours as a buyers, we don't want it. We don't really want we we're going to it's going to look like, you know, it's not going to look good to have all these sponsors in, in our shirt when we want to represent just the team and the player. Right. Well, so that's, that's technically, point, you yeah. still are buying a sponsorship like sh jersey shirt because. Right now, NBA is being sponsored by Adidas, right? Yeah. So you do have an Adidas tab at the back. But, like, you know, obviously what Adam Silver is c contemplating is those big advertisements on a jersey, such as uh, you see at FIBA basketballs or even in, like, football, soccer games. That's the thing. That's the thing that most sizes, people right? in the uh, NBA fans do not want to have. They don't want their shirt to be filled with all these, you know, Adidas is one thing, but the thing is with, with Adidas, you can, that's, it, it's the shirt, right? It's part of the branding of the shirt, right? It's kind of like when you have shoes, Nike is the branding. Would you want Nike to have in your shoes Nike and then all these other brands of... Your Arm Arm. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's saying, it's all right. right? Yeah, you're saying, you're saying you don't want different patches. You don't want other patches in like, your shirt, right? Collecting like, badges, if you're yeah, NBA, of course. If you're an NBA fan or if you're a casual fan that just likes to wear the jersey, you want to represent the team and what that shirt is. Right. Yeah, and obviously yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want advertisements on jerseys because it'll, yeah. like, it'll just look ugly. Mm -hmm. It just looks like a big sign on your jersey with yeah. the name and number and the city. Like we already, they already have advertisements everywhere. The shot clock has an advertisement of the Tiso watch, and it's already <laughs> advertisements, advertisements on like um, the sidelines, the side, the sideboards, and the you know the uh, turning of the pictures. And like we already have that. We don't need that. They're getting a big TV deal. That's that's gonna generate billions of dollars for the NBA, right? And that new TV deal that's gonna make money for all the players in the NBA that's why their all their uh, salary is getting in, such a big increase this year and for the ne and next year as well because of the big TV deal so my question is why are we adding different you know more ways to advertise when we have so many already that the NBA is able to capture right so so you're saying why is the NBA greedy in a sense why not they want to make money <laughs> they just want to make money 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 but talking about money you just said it, this, the salary cap and the influx of funds will come in. There's free agents that are going to happen after this season. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, that's a, that's, that's a loaded question, sorry. Yeah, and uh, you're talking about like free agents for next season, mm -hmm. right? This season, next season, yeah. Well, I don't know that many so far, but the one that caught my eye is just Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry's next. What, what is he, what can we expect from him this, this season? And can we, after the season, pay him the money that he deserves? Not, not like exactly like how DeMar Rosen got paid, but maybe near his market value. What do you think, Mark? It, it all, well, like usually people that are on contract here who usually play better than, I don't know how, Lowry's gonna top what he, how he did last year because he played really at his, that was his best basketball game I've ever seen him do, making the all-star team and really carrying, you know, being one of the, um, renaming himself kind of in a sense redeeming himself in the playoffs right so I don't know how he's gonna top I, I want him to see do it right because most people in contract year are, are play better than they usually do because they want to make that money right but in terms of how they able if he plays better than how we did last year I don't know how we can sign him back we don't we don't uh -huh. want him to do it he needs to do he it. needs to do he it. needs to do it and to make sure he earns that money not just if, to earn the money too but also to uh, to take the Raptors further than what, because it's harder now. It's not going to be easy yeah. for them to go further than what they w did last year. Just because last year they got, you know, a, a bunch of injuries that came into play from uh, not just from uh, Miami, but also from Indiana. Like it's it's they got you know almost Game Seven from Indiana and then with some white side injury, right? But this year it's not going to be the same. So Lowry does not just you know for the money wise, but also to take Raptors to a higher level than what they did last year. And hopefully so. for those those three guys, Kyle Lowry, Demar Rose, and Jonas Valanciunas, they.
produce, put up some numbers, and beat Cleveland because that is a team to beat. Cleveland Cavaliers is the best team in the NBA, yeah. so they have to beat them to win the championship. I, I haven't you seen heard it. I haven't seen JV and and Lowry and and DeRozan play so in sync. And I think this is the season really to see uh, to see this happen. I don't know if you know they've had you know individually statistic wise um, really good performances, but I feel like this year is their year where they just finally get it all together, where it's not just DJV losing touch, not getting enough touch because Lowry and DeRozan are very ISO players. But I think this year is going to be where they figure it out together how to play um, with each other and how to coexist and really show what they can really do together. I think this is their year.